right. Happy Monday, everybody. I am here live to talk with my friend, Lindsay. I'm so excited to introduce you guys to her. Um, we're gonna talk about self-care today and specifically self-care made simple because if there's anything <laughs> that is important to us as moms who have kids with extra needs, um, it's that anything that is too difficult, too overwhelming, like it just all of a sudden will become something that we don't do. And you guys know that I feel so passionately about this um, in the realm of health and wellness, right? My, my fitness programs, we do 20 minutes because more than that can be overwhelming with nutrition, right? It's not a huge, it's not about huge diets. It's about what are the little things that we can do. And um, this is the heart and soul of what Lindsay has put together with her company, The Pampered Parent. And I'm so excited that she's here. What's up, Lindsay? Hi, Megan. How are you? So good. So I'm going to just read an introduction to her because she is a superstar. Um, so Lindsay is a board certified behavior analyst. We should, a lot of us know all about this if you've got a kid with um, any behavioral things like I do. And so she works with individuals who have a variety of developmental disabilities, as well as caregivers and families to improve things like communication skills and um, social skills to help them foster independence and uh, reduce challenging behaviors. I just went through this and still going through this working with somebody with my son and um, you are rock stars, you guys that help us with this. So thank you for that work. Um, but in her free time, you know, she's exercising, which is awesome, traveling, watching TV with her hubby, playing with her dog, um, and then running a business. Be crazy. So, <laughs> yeah, a little crazy. I know. I feel it. I feel it. That's how my life is. So come on, Lindsay, I'm just going to highlight you here so that you can share with us all about what you do, why this is so awesome. Um, and thank you for being here. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate that special welcome. I don't know. I don't know that I am a rock star or superstar, but you know, I'll take it. <laughs> um, so yes, as Megan said, my name is Lindsay. Um, I am a BCBA, board certified behavior analyst here in South Florida. Um, so I'm right near a window and the sun's like beating in. I don't know what the weather's like where you're at, but we're about 80, 85 today. Um, so yes, I am a BCBA. Um, I have worked with so many families. So I am not a special needs mom myself, but I've worked with many, many families who have children with special needs. And the one kind of recurring thing that I kept seeing was the fact that caregivers of children with um, special needs or disabilities um, or extra needs, as Megan said, do not do enough to care for themselves, if anything. Um, so if you're watching live, feel free to comment and let me know what you think about that. If you're watching the replay, you can comment too, but um, just let me know if you can kind of relate to, to what I'm saying. Um, so I kept seeing that over and over, caregivers in general, whether that be grandparents, you know, nannies, babysitters, moms, dads, just do for everyone else and go, go, go. Go from, you know, taking the kids to school, to, to therapies, to work. Hi, Natalie. You're trying to do more, but it's hard. Yeah, I know. And that's kind of what we're gonna talk a little bit about today and how my business can help you with that. Um, and kind of Megan said, it's not about taking hours and hours a day to practice self-care. It's about taking those brief moments um, regularly. So we'll talk about that. Um, feel guilty or selfish when you do make the time. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yes, we will talk about that. But one thing I noticed kind of, as I mentioned was special needs moms, especially just go, 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 do, 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 go from school to work, to therapy, to the grocery store, to any errands. Um, come home and just crash, right? Because there's no time, there's no extra time in your day. So the more I kept seeing this, the more I kind of started thinking, what can I do 
to help these moms and caregivers. So I'm used to helping families clinically um, as a behavior analyst, but I wanted to help in a different way, more from the wellness and self-care side of things. Um, so one day I was playing with my dog in my backyard and was thinking about kind of these, these experience that I've had, experiences that I've had. And I came up with the idea of The Pampered Parent, which is a business that I now run. And what it is, is a subscription box and online community for moms who have children with special needs. And um, I kind of just thought of the idea. I ran it by a few of the moms that I know, and they were like, yes, please. Um, and then I just kind of ran with it. Um, there's nothing else out there like it. So it was, it was kind of cool after I did some research, just knowing that this is the only thing out there that specifically supports moms of kids with special needs in this way. Um, so some key points about the box and community. Um, the reason I thought a subscription box would be a good idea is because it's super convenient. So you don't have to go anywhere to get some awesome items for yourself. Um, as I said before, you don't have much time always to stroll around Target and buy things for yourself. Um, so this box, I have a few here I'm gonna show you guys, but this box arrives monthly at your door with a variety of self-care items. So it's convenient, it's special because it's something just for yourself, um, which I noticed too, that that doesn't happen a lot. Um, it's mostly for your kids. <laughs> so this is just for you. Um, it's simple which is key, kind of as Megan was saying, self-care made simple. <laughs> it's all right here. Um, it's recurring, so it's monthly. And I think, you know, just like your health and your wellness and exercising and nutrition, it's not a quick fix. Self-care is not something that you just do once and then you're like, okay, I'm good, right? <laughs> that would be nice, <laughs> but that's not the case. So just like with your health and wellness and um nutrition and exercise, this comes monthly. So in a way, it almost, it, it encourages you to continue practicing self-care every time you receive this box, which is really cool. Um, it's exciting. There's an element of surprise because you don't know what the heck is in this box every month, which is pretty cool. And in addition to the box, as I mentioned, we have that community. So as you all know, I mean, you're in Megan's community. Community is so, so important. Support is so, so important. So I wanted to have that space, just like Megan does, to bring my subscribers together and help them find that support, feel that sense of belonging, um, you know, meet other moms who can relate to them, who they definitely would have never met before. Um, I have subscribers around the whole country, some, some abroad too. So it's pretty cool to see them all come together. Um, just before I came on here, actually, one of the moms had a really, really hard morning, right? It's not all rainbows and, and sunshine as a mom. And as much as we like to focus on the encouragement and the positives, she came to my group to find that support. And moms are, have already started commenting to support her. So it's really cool to see the community come together. Um, in our community, we have that daily encouragement. Moms have that private um, safe space to ask questions, find support. We have guest speakers, um, different challenges. Um, we have meditate monthly meditations. We're having one tonight, which I'm super excited about. Um, so there's a lot going on in there. So it's really fun. So. I figured that I would show you guys a sample box. And like I said, if you're watching, feel free to ask questions or comments. I see some of them coming in. Um, and Natalie, yes, we, we talk a lot in our community about that mom guilt um, of feeling that way when you take even a brief moment for yourself and kind of, you know, ways to overcome that mom guilt, we actually had a guest speaker exactly on that topic. Um, and it, it was really interesting. Um, so that is something we do talk about. So the boxes. So this box 
I brought October and November. I'll start with the October and just go through them quickly so you can kind of see what type of things come in the box. So every month there's a little booklet that kind of tells you um, about the theme. So every month there's a one word theme. October was, was brave. So it explains the inspiration behind the theme. It gives a little tidbit about all of the items in the boxes. It has the barcode that um, subscribers can scan to join our online community. Um, it has monthly motivation with different quotes surrounding the theme. So it's just a fun little booklet that kind of introduces subscribers to the box. Every month, I also include affirmation cards. So the first time you subscribe for your first box, you get this rose gold ring with two cards that go along with the theme of the month. And then in subsequent boxes, you just get the two cards that you can add to the ring that you already received. So this box, the theme is brave. It says the bravest thing I can be is myself and I am brave enough to dream. So the two of these cards come every month and then eventually you'll have just a stack of cards that you can keep wherever you want and pull them out whenever you need that dose of, of positivity. I also include a thought shift of the month magnet in every box. So kind of along the lines of making self-care simple, love the affirmations, me too. I think that's one of my favorite parts about the box. It's just so, it's so simple yet so powerful, like you said. Um, thought shift of the month. So these are magnets. My subscribers typically put them on their fridge or somewhere um, that they see them regularly. And each month, month highlights a different shift in thinking, very simple. Um, because sometimes all we need is that simple shift in our thinking to help us feel better um, and to remind ourselves that, you know, to just to think more positively, because sometimes we can get overwhelmed with, with the negativity. Um, so, for example, in the October box, it has five confidence boosting thoughts and affirmations, and then I list them. And then at the bottom, it says read and recite these affirmations each morning to help you feel brave, empowered and ready to face the day. So that's super fun and nice. Um, we also have an eye mask. That's really nice. It has those like beads in it. You can heat it up or cool it down. Um, it says put on a brave face and it's an eye mask to help you relax after, after a long busy day. Um, also included, I don't know if any of you guys have read or heard of this book, Welcome to My Life by Lori Hellman. She's actually a subscriber herself um, and included one of her, or her book in each of my October boxes. So in our community, we're doing, we did like a meet the author where we chatted with her. Um, we're doing a monthly book club, like three or so chapters at a time. So it's not super overwhelming, but she's an autism mom. Um, who just writes a book about her story. It's really uplifting and powerful. So this was another item in the October box. And then two of my other favorite, I feel like I keep saying my favorite part, my favorite part, but this, I think this is really my favorite part, is in each box include what we call a featured item. And that item is from a company that employs or is run by individuals with special needs. So my goal with this is to just really highlight these incredible companies to show subscribers and moms that your kids are capable of anything. And our children grow up and they become adults, right? And our adults with disabilities deserve every opportunity that's out there. So in the October box, the company was Olivia. They make clothing, they just release scrunchies. Um, so that's what I included in October. And an adult with autism actually painted this design. And then individuals with special needs also created the scrunchie itself. They sewed it and they created it. So this was the featured item for October. And then we also have an exclusive item in every box. So that's an item that I create and design um, typically a shirt, a mug, a tumbler, a sweatshirt that promotes um, inclusivity, disability awareness, acceptance. Um, and in October, it was a Raglan baseball tee that says, 
Uh, be brave, be bold, be inclusive, be you. So that was, um, that was October's exclusive item. So those are all the items in the October box. Um, so you can kind of get an idea of what might be in a box. Every month is different. Every month has that one word theme. Um, I'll quickly show you a couple of the items from November. Um, this was the exclusive item. So it's a mug. It says, I love inclusion a latte, which is kind of fun. I love puns. Um, it's a coffee theme, cozy, comfy November. So there's like coffee scrub, the affirmation cards, the magnet, um, campfire s'mores flavored coffee. I don't know how many of you are coffee drinkers, but super delicious. And then the featured item was from the Spotlight Project and was a beautiful fall colored bracelet, beaded bracelet. And the bag says your bracelet provided employment for adults with intellectual and developmental disabilities. <laughs> you love puns too, Natalie? I'm glad. I, I think I use them a little too much. Um, so that's, I went through November kind of quickly, but that's just so you get an idea of what comes in the boxes. This shirt was actually in our first box in June. It says lovable, capable, unstoppable. Um, one of my favorite things <laughs> so far, I think, um, that we've included in boxes. Love the support of inclusive companies. Thank you. Yeah, I think that's, that's one of my favorite parts. And it's really nice to be able to um, highlight those, those companies that are doing so much. And one of my goals long term, or hopefully not so long term, is to be able to employ individuals with special needs to join my team and help me with my business and help me pack the boxes and things like that. So um, slowly but surely getting there, but that's something that is one of uh, a dream of mine. Um, you're not a coffee drinker. Is it a Adia? Is that how you pronounce your name? Um, I'm not a coffee drinker either, to be completely honest. I don't drink caffeine. Um, I don't know how I survive, but um, yes, people have said that the coffee drinkers or the non-coffee drinkers that got this box, they kept everything and then they just like either gave their husband or a friend the actual coffee because I have subscribers drink tea out of here. They put their like, you know, yogurt in here, whatever it is, um, you don't have to use it for coffee. So just wanted to kind of show you the types of things that come in the boxes. Um, and it's really fun getting these boxes every month. We get really positive reviews from, oh, I'm glad I pronounced your name right. Okay, good. Um, we get really positive reviews from moms and it's the holiday season now, right? So moms are buying for themselves to kind of spoil themselves over the holidays. I've had several spouses reach out and be like, my wife or, or you know, they need this, um, so they purchase them a subscription. We have gift cards on the website um, that you can gift a friend, a therapist, um, any caregiver. We have several therapists or um, you know buddies as subscribers. So it's mostly moms, but it's really expanding, which is kind of cool to see the entire community come together and just um, get this self-care and support. Um, so that's been really cool. Some of the items that have been in past boxes, such as this mug, are also on our website in our online shop. Um, so you can just buy them as one-time items. So if you have, if your child has a few therapists or teachers that you think would love this mug as a holiday gift, you can totally buy it um, in the online shop. Um, there's a surprise box. There's lots of awesome things. Um, but one cool thing is the Black Friday deal going on right now. So with every six month and 12 month subscription to the Pampered Parent, you will get 15% off your first box plus a free t-shirt. I don't have one yet myself, but it's from Miles Message, which is one of our partnerships. And um, that nonprofit is run by a mom who has a child with Down syndrome and they support families who have children with Down syndrome in a variety of ways. And the shirt says celebrate different and it has like a, a funky looking Christmas tree. Um, so I absolutely love the shirt. Our Black Friday deal um, ends on November 30th, the last day of the month, which is also the last day to subscribe to get the December box. Um, and you just have to enter the code Black Friday 
um, when you check out to get that um, awesome discount and shirt. And then it doesn't end there. I created a coupon code just for Megan and her group. Um, so if you decide to subscribe after November 30th, you can use the code wellness1515, so wellness15, and you'll get 15% off your first box. Um, and that code will be active indefinitely. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope this is exciting for you. Um, it's really special for me to be able to support um, you guys and just all of the moms in a different, fun, exciting way. Um, and self-care is just so, so important as I know Megan, you know, says all the time and there's so many different ways to incorporate self-care. Um, and the Pampered Parent is just, is just one of those ways. So if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Um, my website, I see Megan just posted it in the comments, but it's thepamperedparent.com. Um, social media, The Pampered Parent um, on Instagram, Facebook. Um, yeah, so feel free to reach out. I love hearing feedback, answering questions, helping you guys. So thank you. So awesome, Lindsay. Thank you so much. I love it. And yeah, so I just, I have a couple of things that I wanted to echo that I totally love that you said here. Um, like the idea that self-care is not just a quick fix, like this is so important. And so one of the things that I think is great about what you're doing is almost like this layer of accountability. And I, I tell moms this all the time, like we will have these moments of inspiration of maybe a better word is like desperation where we have have to come up and take a breath of fresh air because because we're losing it this is why i've called my company oxygen fitness coaching because our self-care is literally putting our oxygen mask on so that we can take care of the others in our life and so um we have to we have to come up for that air and um but as busy moms the number one thing that we need is that accountability, right? Because a lot of us, we may come up for air and maybe like, I have to do something for me right now. And we'll do that. And we'll feel better for a little bit, but it's like a band-aid because next thing we know, it's been three months, six months until we've even thought about ourselves again. And so um, whether it's through, you know, accountability from a fitness coach or like having that subscription where it's just, you don't even have to think about it. It's just going to show up. Right. <laughs> it's that. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah. Like I, I absolutely love that because if you are depending on yourself to actually like make that decision each month to do something, um, you're probably not going to. And so having that accountability is, is so awesome. Um, just that it will always be there and it's, it's so fun. And yeah, the affirmations are great. That's something that I talk to people about all the time is when we're working on changing our mind, it's, it's that repetition. It's that just getting, getting those thoughts constantly onto our head, whether it's coming into community and hearing it or having it right there on your fridge or whatever it is. So you're just doing such amazing things. And I'm so glad you were able to come in and share with us. Thank you for having me. It was great to share with you and your amazing moms who are in your group. So I yeah. appreciate it. I'm so glad that we found each other because I feel like what we do complements each other so well. Um, yeah. And just our mission. So. And yeah, and self-care is so different. Like it's, it's diff there's so many different facets to it, right? I just asked this question in the group the other day, like what is self-care for you? And there, it, there's so many facets and we need all of it, right? Sometimes it's sleep. Sometimes we just need to yep. gift yourself with rest. Sometimes it is doing something like having a bubble bath or getting a new shirt or just having that little bit of like special for you. Yep. Um, sometimes it's your health, right? It's, it's eating well, it's moving, it's doing things that are going to help reduce your stress. Sometimes it's fun. Like there's, there's so many different facets. And so, yeah, being able to touch on those things a little bit in your life um, is, is how we kind of create that overall picture of self-care. And, and I just want to say like, to all the moms that are watching this either live or on replay, um, you know, when it comes to self-care and building habits, like we want to take baby steps with that. You know, I, I think early on, I made the mistake of feeling like I, if I was going to start taking care of myself, I had to like do all the things all at once. And it was just too much. So 
you know, if you're sitting here watching this right now, thinking you need to do something for yourself, but it just feels like there's so much that you need, there's so many gaps, like just choose one. If this subscription box is where you need to start, just so that you start to do a little thing for yourself, that's great. And what's cool is you will then have a little bit more bandwidth to maybe do that next step, whether it's, you know, starting to exercise a little bit or, you know, maybe going to sleep a little bit earlier, asking for help, whatever it is, it will, those baby steps will eventually add up to that feeling of, okay, I'm okay. The world is still swirling around me, but I'm okay. And that's the goal. That's the goal. Yeah. I love that. I, I have a subscriber who reached out and was like, I love so many things in this box. I love it so much. I just, I need help like figuring out how to use it. And I was like, in, in the, her first box, there was a candle and I was like, light the candle. And that's it. And just enjoy. It. And she did that. And she was like, wow, like I smell so good. And it can like, it can literally just be that. And that can kind yeah. of spark the motivation that you need to, to continue, whether it takes a week, a month, a year, um, you have the tools, you have what you need. It just kind of takes that, that little push and community really helps with that. Um, so like you said, there's so many different pieces, but you don't have to tackle them all at once. Yeah. Um, just, yeah. just something little and then kind of build upon that. And I, I think that's key. And that's true for exercise too, right? You're not going to go yeah. from not exercising to working out three hours a day. Like mm -hmm. it's not going to happen. It's the same with, you know, this type that this type of self-care, you're not going to, you know, take hours a day. Um, but even that two minutes. I mean, minutes. I'd like to soak in a bath for an hour a day. <laughs> that sounds pretty good. <laughs> like, I, don't have I don't have time to go get manis and petties every week. No, but like, I'm feeling good if I've washed my hair. Like like today, I got to wash my hair today. Whoa, good. I am yeah. on the moon. <laughs> right. But when you have that time to exercise or the, the one minute to breathe or, you yeah. know, the five minutes to read the one chapter and that really feel good book. So yeah, Absolutely. I totally, I totally agree with you. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's great. Okay. Well, I'm just looking at the comments here. If you guys that are watching this live have any other uh, questions or comments for Lindsay, we've got just another minute here before we sign off. Um, yes. And yeah, you're, you're right. It's, it's the consistency that makes a difference, right? Just being able to do those small things over time. So good. And then you feel more comfortable with it too. Um, I know, I think it was Nicole, I can't see the comment anymore, but who said that she feels guilty when she does this. So I think it, a good way to, to start to overcome that is just doing little bits at a time. Um, you know, maybe you feel guilty if you take 10 minutes. So start with one minute or start with two minutes and start to get more comfortable with taking time for yourself, you know, mm -hmm. until you get to the point where you're, you're happy with where you're at. Um, yeah. Yeah. And I think we've got to get really curious about that. Like when you have those thoughts, those guilty feelings, like we've got to get really curious about that and think like, why, where, where is this coming from? Is it, um, you know, is it the fear that if I'm taking time away from my kids and then they aren't maybe meeting milestones or they aren't, you know, getting like all of the possible things that we could do for them. Does that mean that we are then a failure? Um, is that, is that guilt from like, you know, I have this expectation that I should just be able to do all the things awesome, like all the time, like get really curious about that. And when you ask mm -hmm. yourself that you may find some of those underlying, um, expectations that you have of yourself that are, uh, sometimes just too high, right? You're, you're a human. You're not a superhuman. Yeah. Um, and that was the very first shift that I had to make on my journey was, accepting the fact that like like good is good enough right i'm not going to be the perfect mom i'm just not and so if i can look back and say you know what i i did a good job may not have been perfect may not have been all the things but if i came out like alive and i make it to 60 70 and i'm still healthy and i'm still smiling and i'm strong like I have won as a parent, <laughs> whatever that, you know, wherever my kids end up. And so there's yeah. no such thing as perfect. Like oh. you're not a perfect mom because that's literally impossible. Um, and we talk a lot about too, it's kind of cliche, but you have to take care of yourself in order to take care of your loved ones and others. Mm -hmm. you, know, you have to fill your cup before you try to fill 
other, other people's, whether it's your kids, your spouse, your family, your friends. Um, like I said, it's cliche, but it's so, it's so true. So I think that simple shift in thinking is not so simple, but it takes effort. But in the end, shifting that thought of, I shouldn't be doing this to, you know, this is how I'm able to be there for other people is really crucial. Yeah. So great. So great. Okay. Well, I don't see any other questions coming through. Okay. Um, so you guys that were here watching live, thanks for taking this time. I hope this is a great start to your week. Um, you guys that are watching on replay, if you have any questions, you can find Lindsay at the Pampered Parent, um, or feel free to direct those to me and I can always connect you guys in a messenger chat or anything like that. But have a fabulous week as we go into this holiday. Um, just remember, you know, take those small moments for you. Enjoy, smile, and, and be well. Be grateful for everything that you have because I promise it's a lot. Thanks, Lindsay, for being here. And yep, and have a great week. You too. Thanks, everyone. All right. Bye.